Okay, here we go. Now this is just pretty simple stuff here. This is a crane mat load. And uh, I just want to show everybody what's going on with it. They're always usually nasty, dirty, filthy. But the thing is, most of the time, they have them in a pyramid style. They have a stack here, stack here, and one up there. So in this particular case, the way they had them set up for loading is they just didn't want to mess with it. So it made my load 39,000. It was advertised at 45.5, but that's about maximum for me. So it's pretty simple. They got multiple groups. They put down the dunnage which is under here and it's nice and thick it's going to have a lot of mud on them I mean I haven't seen any yet <coughs> that don't have mud you got a group here and a group here all are bolted together like I've showed before uh, I mean it's just solid full of mud there's going to be crap everywhere it's, uh, they're, they're pretty filthy loads a lot of stuff that just most of the time there's not a lot of rock and stuff like that, it's just mud. If it falls off, it just turns into dust. So, I've been lucky there. But, you know, they're all bolted together. They pave really well on this particular case. I'm going up to Minnesota from extreme western Tennessee. So, it wasn't really uh, much available when I was in St. Louis. So, I thought, well, hell, I'll just go do one of these because I just hauled stuff out of uh, Wisconsin. And I thought, what the hell? So that's what I did. I went up there. I got some of these. Uh, went down to Tennessee and then bring me up close or back to where I called other stuff before. So it's no big deal. We did get delayed. I had a tire that uh, trailer that was split on the tread. It was hidden. You couldn't see it until it was at a certain position. Then the, the, the the cracks start opening and it was from road debris you could tell so there was something going on uh, other than that that's about it I'm gonna give the straps a tighten I just fueled and I'm gonna get the hell out but um, sorry it's so quick but you know you guys a lot of you like that kind of stuff I don't sit there and flap my jaw for an hour and a half or sit there and talk from the driver's seat you know you have to let me know because we'll just try it and do what we can. I mean, there was a gap in between everything. A lot of times that's pretty common. You'll see, uh, like I said, the third group put up on top. And that's the way I've always hauled them. But this is just um, um, a different setup. They wanted to get the loads put on and without jacking around and trying to maximize the weight because of the, what they had them all set and palletized. They, they put their the stringers or dunnage or runners or whatever stickers or whatever after each set of four. Well, they didn't want to redo all that shit, so they just put down two sets of uh, four front and rear. So makes four four groups, and uh, they they uh, the tire thing that they did this. The tire that was bad was left rear outside, but when they tried to put this new Continental on, the tread depth wouldn't match. It was 9, 30 seconds over the other tire. We're just going to eat that brand new tire. So what they did was they found one that was within 3, 30 seconds of the brand new tire, and they swapped some things around, and that's a good, good point. So, And you never, ever put a recap on a platform trailer. You just don't do it. Not where you have chance for spread axle. Because it'll rip the cap clean off the casing. When we make the corners and spread axle, it'll just peel that sucker right over. Seen it happen. Uh, I had somebody try and put one of those on my truck years ago on my trailer and I told them, get that shit out of here. <laughs> you know, what do you new? I don't know. So I parked uh, kind of whoop it just to get in here and shoot this video, hit my straps, and get the hell out. I get delivered and uh, hopefully pick up another piece of freight on Friday before I get stuck for the weekend. And you guys have a great one. We'll see you on the road.